So as we're transitioning from spring crops to summer crops here on the farm, we end up needing to use a lot of floral netting. So today I'm going to be setting up some beds with floral netting, showing you how we use PVC to make supports for them so that we get nice, straight, strong, sellable stems off of all of our cut flowers. So I've gathered all my tools to cut my PVC pipe that I'm going to use for my supports. I have 10 foot PVC pipe. I have PVC cutter. I have a Sharpie. You should always have a Sharpie, no matter what. I have a tape measure and an angle grinder. So what I'm going to do is take my 10 foot pieces and I'm going to divide them into three equal parts. So three foot, four inch pieces. Then I'm going to use the Sharpie to mark where I want my angle grinder to grind just a little bit of a notch in my PVC so it'll hold my netting. First mark I'm going to make with my handy dandy Sharpie is at three foot four inches. So I'm just going to make a black mark and that's just going to be my cut mark. So next I'm going to mark where I want to put my notches so that my netting will fit in there. So the first one that I want to do is at 22 inches. So I'll stick one right there and then I'm going to do one at 32 also. So I'll have the two marks for the angle grinder. We have found that it's easier to do this with two people if we have two people available. And today I just so happen to have Aaron. So he's going to go ahead and grind these to show you how we do it. You can see he didn't go in very far, maybe like a quarter of an inch, just enough so that the netting will sit inside. So a little shortcut. I like to line up the ones that I've already cut. I cut like two or three guide ones and then I just lay them all out and then I can just mark them straight across where I want my notches. It saves you a lot of time. It may not be perfect, but nothing in farming is perfect. Pounding the post into the ground is fairly self-explanatory, but there are a couple of things you want to keep in mind. First of all, make sure that your netting marks are um, at the top end of your support and not at the bottom. Or, I mean, I guess if you want to have them at the bottom, whatever, but make sure you do it all the same. And then I'm just going to hold back this weed mat, stick it in. I'm, you'll notice I'm about eight inches past the last plant. That gives me enough support with the netting there for that. making sure that those marks are to the outside of the bed, pound it in. I like to get them in about eight inches. Sometimes that's not possible, but that should do. So we've gone ahead and rolled out our flower netting. We anchored it to the other end by putting the flower netting through these little cuts in the PVC. Then we went back and kind of shimmied it down so that it's at the lowest setting. And now I'm just going to tighten it up. You want it to be much tighter than you really think it should be because the plants are going to weigh on it and it's going to get stretched out. So in order to snap those in, you just pull it down and they just sit right in there nice and tight. And I'll probably go back through and just make sure that all the plants came up nicely and none of them are bent over. And that's that. So one last thing, after you get it all stretched out, tied down, you want to cut it off. Otherwise you would have this gigantic roll of floral netting. So I'm going to cut it, make sure that you cut it all the way in the same line, the same squares all the way across. I'm cutting it extra long because although we have every best intention of all of our beds being the same size, every single one of our beds is a different size. So this way the flower netting isn't bed specific. So the bed that we just finished up with was just barely needing flower netting. There were a few stems that had started to come up that we needed to kind of tuck in and be careful with. But this bed will give you a really good example of why we use the flower netting. These snapdragons have been in here for about a month and you can see that they've already started coming straight up through the netting. They're super straight stems, very strong. We're in Oregon and it rains here. In fact, we have some rain coming tomorrow. And if we didn't have this netting on it, 
the weight of the rain would just crush these and everything would be sideways. So it's really awesome for us to have the extra support. It gives us such better quality. These are things that you could even use in your home garden um, with some of the plants in your perennial beds, cut them into squares, stake them out there. You don't have to use PVC. You could use something more attractive. This is just the way we find works for us. There are lots of different ways to do it though. Today was brought to you by water and sunscreen. Don't forget to hydrate when you're out gardening or farming and make sure that you're protecting your skin because growing flowers is not for pansies. Thanks for swinging by the farm. Talk to you next time.